Hello, crafty friends. It's Alicia, aka Crafty Owl, here with a project for Not Too Shabby. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a card for their August mood board challenge. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create, and find out how you can participate and be entered to win a gift certificate. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month on the Not Too Shabby blog, they put out a mood board challenge. I haven't yet played along with one, but I thought this would be the month that I did. Now later on, during the process, I will give you more details on how to enter the challenge so you can be entered to win a $15 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. The main products that I'll be using for today's card are from the newest box of the month, fall sunshine. I'm going to be using stamps from the warm drink cold day stamp set and a couple pattern papers from the pumpkin marshmallow slimline paper pad. Up on screen now is a look at the sketch that goes with this month's mood board and that is what I'm going to use for my layout today. Now you might notice that background piece, you actually need a 3 and 3 quarter inch piece of pattern paper and this new slimline paper pad is 3 and a half. so I will show you how you can use this slimmer paper and create that card. When I do start the process, I'll let you know of any other products or tools that I bring in. But as always, if I leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Off camera, I cut a piece of craft cardstock that was four by five and a quarter and I made a top fold pink card base. The first thing I'm going to do now is cut down the two pattern papers I chose into the sizes needed for the card. For the wood grain paper, I need two strips that are 3 quarters inches wide by 5 and a quarter inches tall. I need the pink faux glitter paper to be 5 inches tall and eventually I want it to fill this piece of craft cardstock left to right with even borders all the way around. To do this, I'm going to cut one and a half inches off the left side so later I have two pieces to fill across the craft card stock. I added adhesive to the back of each of the light pink glitter papers and I aligned those on the craft card stock so that the outside borders were as even as I could make them, which are about an eighth of an inch. You'll see there is a gap, but once I have added adhesive to the back of the wood grain strips and placed it onto this piece, it does cover up that middle. Now I'm going to get started on the focal point. To do this, I will be using Memento Tuxedo Black ink with the cup from the stamp set that has all of the cute marshmallows. I am stamping this onto a scrap of Mina Solar White and you'll notice there because it is a new stamp I rub my fingers on there to get off any manufacturing oils and I inked it up and stamped it twice just to help get a nice solid black. I will be coloring my image with some Spectrum Noir Tri Blend markers and I will list those colors in the description box below. Now I do just basic coloring here following the suggestion from the company which is covering the entire area with the light color, going in where the shaded area should be with the dark, blending it out just a little bit with the mid, and then going back over the center part or the lighter part with that light marker again blending in the mid-tone. Now while I work on coloring that, I thought it would be a great time to tell you about the monthly challenge. 
Each month on their blog, Not Too Shabby puts up a mood board challenge with an accompanying sketch. Up on screen now is a look at August's mood board. You'll see here there are some different themed photos, there are some suggested colors. Basically, you're going to use the mood board and the sketch if you want to as just a little bit of inspiration to get started creating. Once you have created your project inspired by the mood board, you will link it up at the bottom of the blog post. I will have the blog post listed in the description box below and you can go there and get lots more information on the challenge and giveaway. But basically you're going to add your linky and then you're entered to win a $15 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. The mood board or this challenge is open through August 31st and the winner will be announced in September. I really hope that you'll give this a try. They recently hit an all-time high entries of 31. Why don't we see if we can get them to 40 this month? Once I had that image all colored up, I wanted to add the sentiment and I will be putting it on the center of the mug. The one I chose reads, happiness is a hot drink on a cold day. Once again, I used my Misty to help me get the stamp where I wanted it. And again, because it is a new stamp, I did ink it up and stamp it twice to get a nice crisp black sentiment. Since I had my Misty out, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and decorate the inside piece for the card a little bit. Now you'll notice here I'm not using the door of the Misty for this because I do want to put three marshmallows on the inside, so I think it's just quicker to use the block. But this way I can have that foam pad or the foam mouse pad in the Misty help me get a nice crisp image. You'll notice there that after I stamped the first marshmallow, I used just a scrap of sticky note and I covered up the first one I stamped so that I could stamp one that looked like it was sitting behind it. Then to keep with the rule of thirds, I added another marshmallow over in the bottom left. To add a little more decoration to the piece, I brought back in the pattern paper scraps and a little fishtail punch. I punched one from each of the patterns and I adhered these in the top left of that inside piece. You'll notice the pink one, I offset it and moved it up a little bit, so I did have to trim off the excess after it was glued down. Off camera, I used my brother's scan and cut to cut out the image and for the inside of the handle, I did use some fine tip scissors. I also die cut a stitch circle to go behind this. Now that all of the parts were ready, I could start putting my card together. The decorated piece of craft card stock went on the front of the card centered and then I did the same thing to the decorated inside piece. The circle got adhered toward the bottom left of the front, just flat down once again. And then for my little mug, I did put some foam tape on the back to add a little dimension. To finish the card off, I did want to add a few embellishments. So I brought in some matte white enamel dots from my stash and I added a little trio around the mug. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's card inspired by the Not Too Shabby August Mood Board Challenge. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now I hope that you will consider joining in and linking up as well. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.